What's up everyone? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for today's episode, super excited because we are going to unbox the Sean Waterspoon A6 Atmos Gel Light 3. Apart from that, we are also going to announce the winner of our Adidas Oswego Pusha T raffle. So two Oswego pairs, one in size 9.5, another one in size 11. Watch until the very end. That's when we are going to announce the winner. Let's go. Now, before we get to the main event, which is the unboxing of the Sean Waterspoon Atmos A6 Gel Light 3, let's do a quick unboxing of a couple of really affordable, nice running shoes. So this is the Peak Lightweight Running Sneaker. And this sells for 1,700 pesos on Lazada. I'll put the link down below just in case you guys want to buy one. And it comes in different colors. This one is in a dark blue color. And as you guys can see, it has some sort of like knit upper that's very breathable. And then you have that really nice EVA foam that gives great cushioning if you are running. I actually put this one, I think one of the colors on feet. And it reminds me a lot of the Adidas uh, SL20. That one sells for almost a little over 5,000. This one sells for 1,700 something pesos. Not bad value for money. So if you're just looking for casual running sneakers to beat up, if you're looking for like daily beaters that are comfy, that won't break the back, you might want to check this one out. Again, this is in the dark blue color. It also comes in some sort of like gray. And of course, it also comes in black. Again, 1,700 something pesos over at Lazada. The link can be found down below. Okay, now let's get to the main event, which is our unboxing of the Sean Waterspoon Atmos A6 Gel Light 3. That is such a long name. But anyway, uh, so as you guys can see, it comes in this brown carton box. You have the Atmos logo up here. I think this is supposed to be the Sean Waterspoon spoon logo first time to see it and if we pop the box open ba bam corduroy love all around by the way quick shout out to steel street so they are a sneaker reseller shop uh, based on instagram here in the philippines they sent the shoes so i can unbox it it's actually not my size so it's size 9.5 i think i'm a size 12 but it was kind enough that they sent it just so i can feature it on the vlog so let's take a closer look at the sneaker now these are two different sneakers they're they're one pair they just come in different colors kind of taking advantage of that mismatched color vibe so let's talk about first the right pair so you have for the upper in true Sean Waterspoon fashion, uh, Vel Velcro. Yeah, Velcro and corduroy. For those who don't know, Sean Waterspoon popularized corduroy again uh, when he won an Air Max design contest and his Air Max was actually created by Nike and it commanded sick resale prices all over the world. And uh, Sean comes back with A6 this time around. And again, orange corduroy, different panels of blue and corduroy, Steel corduroy over here and then you have that classic uh, split tongue action of the Gel Light 3 sneaker. This side of the shoe, like what I mentioned earlier, is made out of Velcro so you can actually swap it out for the different colored A6 logos uh, that comes inside the shoe. It also comes with the Sean Waterspoon logo and the Atmos logo that you can also put anywhere in the sneaker. So this is the right pair. You also have the left pair, which this one, the color blocking is different. It starts off with dark purple, becomes some sort of like lavender, then dark green, turns into like black, brown, and then you have the red A6 logo on either side of the shoe. Again, you can swap it out for the different colors depending on your feel for the day. And it does come with white laces with gray metal tips, but you can opt to go for a slightly almost pinkish or pale uh, laces that again come with silver or gray metal tips. By the way, almost missed this part. If you take a look at the right pair, it says over here LA embroidered near one of the parts of the tongue. And on the left pair, it says over there TYO or Tokyo, symbolizing the collaboration between Sean Waterspoon from LA and of course uh, Atmos from Tokyo. If I were to compare this with Sean's first work with Nike, uh, those Air Maxes versus this, I'm probably still going to lean towards the Air Max that he made primarily because I think that particular silhouette 
fits my feet better. I've always had trouble with the Gel Light 3 because they aren't friendly for people with wide feet and they only usually go up to size 12 and unfortunately when it comes to the Gel Light series, I usually fit size 13. But hey, if you guys love this build, if you love the style, if you are an A6 and Sean Wotherspoon fan, you might want to take advantage and try to cop one uh, if you can still find one for retail or if you have the money to burn for resale prices. Again, shout out Steel Street. Thank you for lending the pair so that we can unbox it on the channel. Appreciate you guys. Okay, so now that we're done unboxing a couple of nice sneakers from both Peak uh, and A6 and the Sean Wotherspoon collaboration, let's find out who the winner is of the Adidas Pusha T Oswego raffle that we're currently doing. So let's find out first who the winner is of the size 9.5 pair. Congratulations to both winners. I'll be reaching out to you via Instagram, the handle that you linked, uh, that you put in your comment so that we can get in touch so I can find a way to send you guys your brand new Adidas Pusha T Oswego sneaker. Quick wristwatch check of the day. We are wearing the G-Shop. I'm not sure if it's called the Manila watch because it has a three sun. Uh, Chris, uh, Quick wristwatch check of the day. I am wearing a G-Shop. Uh, I think this is like the Manila edition. Came out earlier uh, in the decade and it has the three stars and the sun motif over here. Nice white watch. Uh, by the way, I did a quick video talking about my beginner level G-Shock collection. If you guys haven't seen that yet and you are interested in watches, specifically G-Shock watches, check it out. The link somewhere up here or down there. Look for it. And for power up words of wisdom for the day, there are pros and cons to the pandemic. The cons is obviously you can't go out and meet your, with your friends. It's kind of hard, obviously, with the virus going around. There is one pro that I've come to uh, embrace. It's the fact that a lot of the people that you haven't talked to for the longest time are just at home. And it's actually easy to set up Zoom calls or video calls over Facebook Messenger or, or WhatsApp or Viber or whatever mode of communication it is that you use. My point is, you might want to take this opportunity to reconnect with old friends that you haven't talked to in the longest time because chances are they are free. <laughs> they are just at home and they are just a Zoom or Microsoft Teams or whatever, whatever web call tool you use away. So again, guys, if you are looking for something to do, if you're bored, if you're restless, if you're anxious, this is actually one of the best times for you to reconnect because again, it should be called physical distancing, not social distancing, because you really need the support of your loved ones and people around you. And what better way to do that than to reconnect with familiar old faces that you haven't seen in a long time. And with that said, talaga may hawak ako suklay dahil magulo ang buhok ko. And with that said, this is Carlo signing out. I hope you guys had a great weekend and I pray that you have an amazing week up ahead. As usual, peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.